presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to create a picture-in-picture -picture of a main screen for your live stream or your recording. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I've seen this question a few times where people have said, hey, I love ProPresenter 7. I want to do all my live streaming through it. No need to use other stuff. But here's what I want to do. I want to, instead of using a lower third, I want to do a picture-in-picture -picture of our main screen while we have video up of um, someone who is up front. So how do I do that? Well, let me show you this little hack to do just that. So let's head over to my computer take a look. Here we are in ProPresenter, and what you're looking at is, of course, a picture-in-picture. -picture. I mean, that's me down here. Um, and you might think, well, Paul, just show me how you did that. Well, I'm using a um, Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio HD to do it. What if you don't have that? Let me show you. So... What you might think is, oh, I'll just somehow shrink that down, what, what's in the one screen, shrink it down and put it in the other screen. But if we go into editor, so let's just uh, right click and edit slide here, shall we? Um, let me just go ahead and I'm going to add a shape. And if I do that then I can fill that shape with, let's look, video input. Well, th that works if you're going to do exactly what I'm doing here and put the video in the lower third, or in the picture-in-picture. Picture. But what do you do if you want to put another screen on the picture-in-picture? Picture? Uh, slide object? No. Web? No. Media? No. Gradient? Color? No, uh, none of that seems to work. So, how would we go about doing that? Well, instead of doing it on a regular slide, let me get rid of that, and let's go instead to first, we're going to go to screens and then configure screens. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I need to add a stage screen. So, I've already added one here, and this is just a placeholder. It's not actually going anywhere. But, um, I actually used this technique on a live call earlier today. So, I wanted to share this idea with you. Um, so, I created a stage screen that's a placeholder. I changed the name to for live stream just so that it was clear that that wasn't a regular stage screen. It's, its job is to go to the live stream. So that is good. Now we need to go back up into screens and then into uh, edit layouts. And we need to create a picture in picture. So let me uh, first create a new stage layout up here by clicking this little one. And let's go to blank. And let's call this... Um, Tip of main screen. Okay. So, what we need is we need two things. We need the camera that's coming in, and then on top of that, we need our PIP. So, um, let's first click the plus button, and you'll notice here that we've got a few more options because it's a stage screen, and that's how this is going to work. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape, rectangle, and I want to move this up to the upper left-hand corner. The pixels are numbered starting with zero uh, in the very upper left-hand corner, left to right, top to bottom. So, I happen to know this output is a 1920 by 1080p output, so I'm going to uh, change its position position by uh, changing the x-coordinate here to 0 
and the y coordinate here to zero. Okay, now I need this to be full screen because this is the bottom of the two layers. This is, since I've got layers, this is also something that you could not do in Pro 6. Not only could you not live stream from a stage display, you couldn't layer things reliably on top of one another. So I'm going to change this to uh, 1920 wide by not 180, 1080 tall. And now that fills that in. But the color, not so much helpful. So instead of color, let's select a video input. So um, I could choose any of my video inputs that I've already created. And um, let's actually choose deck link because I know that that's a, that particular one is a capture. So it, it's actually a capture of this screen. So I've got that there. So that's good to go. Now I need to have the pip of one of the other screens. So how do I do that? Well, we're going to add another shape. Again, a rectangle. And this time I don't want that to uh, be up here. I need this down here. Uh, let me make myself disappear here. And I'm just going to drag it here. And... You'll notice that this is going to change because I'm about to make this, uh, let's say, like that. So you could tweak this however you, you want to, to do it. Now, again, instead of filling it with a co color, this time we're going to fill it with a screen preview. So this is my main output screen right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I can also create another one. Let's say that for preaching, I don't want to have this up all the time. So what I could do is I could have another one just like this, only I wouldn't add this. So then I could have a action to change the stage display. Um, and I'd have an action to change the stage display layout. But let me show you what this looks like. So. We go back into show, and um, first off, let me put something on here. So, imagine that this is, you know, a sermon point here. And what we want to do is, if we go to my four live stream, what I expect to see is basically the same thing that you're looking at, um, only this will be down here. So, let me hide myself once again so that we can see this and click on that and there it is but the thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to change the screen layout so uh, for the um, live stream I have the full screen which is one that I made earlier but this is the pip of main screen. So that adds this right down here. Now I could also have put a border around it or what have you. Um, and now you'll notice that this is down here. And when I change the screen layout back to my regular one that does not have the pip on it, that it just goes away. It's pretty straightforward. So I can go back and forth pretty easily. I can add a an action on any slide for the stage and for the four live stream, I would change it to a the pip or the DL4N, you know, whichever one, the one without the PIP or the one with, and then I could use that just back and forth during my message. So that is how you use the stage screen to live stream so that you can have a PIP, a picture in picture of your main screen showing up 
uh, for your congregation. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So go to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick to get it for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.